Was Captain Marvel a marvelous addition to the MCU? Or a misfire? Find out here on the Comic Universe. What's up, guys, and welcome to the web first musty comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to the comic universe. I'm Dr. J. I've got a PhD in nerd culture, and I should know. I printed it out myself. Well, folks, the latest addition to the MCU is here, whether people like it or not. So, uh, I'm doing my part and giving you guys a spoiler free review of Captain Marvel here on the comic universe. So, um, this is going to be completely spoiler free. Just in case, you know, you hear about all the negative perception about the movie and are still kind of on the fence about it, I'm here to give you a spoiler-free opinion on it, on whether I think you should see it or not, and what I think of the movie as a whole. Also, if you're interested in a more in-depth full spoiler review, I did one on my main channel, Mr. J's Reviews. I will leave that annotated somewhere up here, I'm sure... Somehow I'm pointing to the card uh, up there. Um, and if you want to skip the straight to the spoiler section in that review, just go to the description of the review and there will be a time code that skips you right to the spoiler section if you just want to know about the spoilers. Uh, and But that's the review on my main channel, not this one. This one is going to be completely spoiler free. So uh, let's talk about the movie. So first things first, honestly... I think this movie just got way too much hate for all the stuff that Brie Larson had said. Now granted, there was a lot, a lot of clear kind of malice in what she said there. And I do not agree with what she said. Um, I, I, I get the whole, like, white press thing and um, she wanted to request to be interviewed by a woman because, you know, a guy doesn't really understand the perspective of, like, this being the first female-led MCU movie and what it means for women. I feel like a woman should be able to, you know, talk about that. And I get, I get that, but the way she said it and how she went about it, talking about how if you don't support this movie and blah, 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 this movie isn't for you then, we don't need you. This is the demographic that goes to your movies, and you don't just directly insult that. That was the biggest mistake that, uh, you know, was made in the marketing of this movie and the, during the press run. And I think that's going to be what impacts this movie in terms of the court of public opinion. I don't think this movie will flop. I think this will probably be, be in the range of like an Ant-Man and the Wasp or just Ant-Man movies in general uh, type of range. Maybe like a Guardians of the Galaxy 2 type of thing. Uh, but that being said, all that out of the way, do I think this movie was good? Yes, I enjoyed Captain Marvel. Was it perfect? No. Was there a few really big, cheesy, in-your-face moments? Yes. But let's be real here. That is nothing new for the MCU. The MCU has always done these ridiculous kind of, all right, that wasn't necessary. As much as you love Marvel, you know they have those dumb, con sometimes contradictory lines just for the sake of humor. That's the case for all MCU movies. So I can't really say that as a negative for Captain Marvel alone. That's just a general statement about the MCU. And some of y'all might hit that dislike button because you think I'm a Marvel hater. You see the hat and you think I'm just talking blasphemy about Marvel. No, I love Marvel. I absolutely love Marvel and all the work they have put in over these 20 years or like at least over a decade. I guess it's technically 20 years with it getting close to being like 2020 but that's crazy seriously though like captain marvel was a good movie um it's a pretty standard origin movie it starts off kind of slow for sure um and it has a predictable 
sequence of events, but that's also just kind of a symptom of the fact that we've seen superhero origin movies over and over and over again. This is not just a problem with Captain Marvel. Honestly, it was executed pretty well. The action was pretty damn good. Um, her powers are really dope. I think she herself is a cool character that developed uh, pretty decently over the course of her movie. I liked her uh, friendship with Nick Fury. Nick Fury himself was a really fun addition to this movie. Um, yes, we find out the origin of how he lost his eye, and I'm not going into that. That was one of the cheesy, come on, do you really need to do that type of moments. And yes, this movie is a female empowerment movie. It is about, you know, a woman rising to the occasion and being a strong hero. But it's not overly feminist to the point where I'm like, okay, we get it. Women can be strong. Yes, there was one scene in particular that involved um, a song by No Doubt playing in the background because they wanted to do the whole Guardians of the Galaxy thing. And I did not like that. But... Overall, I feel like the movie is still enjoyable. It still has a lot of fun moments. And it's definitely one where you can take, you know, your niece or your daughter to. And they can have somebody like a Spider-Man. Uh, like a Captain America to look up to. Yeah, they had Black Widow. But Black Widow wasn't exactly like, you know, a role model type of character. Because, you know, she's a... An assassin with all this like red on her ledger and Scarlet Witch was uh, working with the bad guy and all this other stuff as cool as Wanda is there isn't really anybody in the MCU as of right now to fill the Captain America-esque role for women in particular for young women and Carol does that role really well she's strong she doesn't try to conform to people's beliefs she listens to both sides of an argument this movie is definitely more than what people give it credit for it's a, a an anti-war movie it gives us an interesting perspective on war i wish they would have gone deeper into that but they definitely you know touch on it in a surface um perspective which i still enjoyed um i give us some an interesting flip on some iconic characters finally brought to the MCU. Um, now, I will address one thing. They have changed Marvel, and, um, you know, I, this is kind of a spoiler, but not entirely. Yeah, they changed Marvel. I'm not going to say how. If you want to know how, uh, go to my full spoiler review and we can talk about it. And I get, you know, Marvel fans, you're pro definitely going to be pissed about it, I feel like. But I never, in particular, was a huge fan of Marvel. Personally, I don't even. I never really liked Carol Danvers in the first place either. So maybe that's why I was an easier sell for a Captain Marvel movie, because I've never liked Carol for real. And this version of Carol was at least charming. Like she had some very likable moments in here. She has a nice sense of humor. Like Carol in the comics is just kind of a hard ass and. Like, I, I don't like her, and she's done some things in the comics that I, uh, in particular, am not a fan of at all. So, um, Brie Larson did a really good job at, like, making me actually care about Carol, and I think this movie is pretty good. It does not rank up there with, like, the upper echelon of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, in my opinion, but I still think it's worth seeing. It definitely will be one of those ones that is going to go under the radar, but is going to be more appreciated, I feel, when Endgame comes around. Just like how Guardians 2 was a movie that I hated on, and I thought was just dumb and unnecessary. But then I saw Infinity War, and I was like, oh, wow, Guardians 2 really did matter. Now, I'm not saying Captain Marvel is going to completely flip around once Endgame comes out, and everybody's going to be like, oh... Now that we have the context, Captain Marvel's the best movie ever. No, it's an average superhero origin movie, but it's still a good time, you guys. And 
I know as fans, we like to take our comic book source material and stuff seriously. But at the end of the day, we are just here to have a good time. Can't we just be here to have a good time? Let's let's just try that, okay? Let's just go to our movie theater, grab our popcorn and our food, watch this badass lady fight some aliens, and have fun, okay? That's all I'm asking. Now, uh, let me know all your thoughts and feels about Captain Marvel in the comments down below. I know uh, I might not be going with the majority here on this opinion, but... You know, I had to speak my piece, you know, had, uh, I wanted to get this out there. But let me know, what did you guys think of Captain Marvel? If you guys managed to see it um, on opening weekend, uh, let me know. Uh, do you agree with all the backlash this movie's been getting? Or do you disagree? Do you think, you know, all this stuff was unwarranted? Did you enjoy the movie? Did you hate the movie? Let us know all those thoughts and feels in the comments down below, as always. And don't forget to hit that uh, like button. And subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we've reached our big milestone of 1K, and we're getting ready to do a big giveaway of Detective Comics issue number 1,000, as well as a Funko Pop of the Batman Who Laughs. Also, before I go, don't forget to be on the lookout for that awesome 90s-themed Stanley cameo, because it was great. Also, they changed up the Marvel logo to be like a Stanley tribute, so I want to end this properly with... You know, no ill will. And I want to say thank you, Stan, and thank you to all the Comic Universe fans. Till next time, hopefully, I'll see you in the universe. Excelsior, true believers.